Hi everyone. Welcome to my little co-ops artist gallery that I'm part of. I just dropped in to show you the two paintings that were part of our pastel and acrylic lessons over this month and next month. Up on the wall behind me is uh, the, the jetty and the sunset and that's going to feature this month in the acrylic lessons. Uh, I'll be doing one lesson on glazing for the sky and the water and another lesson on the sunset clouds and how to form the clouds and get the colour into them. And then next month in June I'll be following up with a detailed lesson on how to get that rock texture. And then over on the other wall is the red samphire, the pastel lesson that I did for April. I just thought you might like to see them down in the studio. I want to show you one more thing while I'm down here. I don't know about you, I mean, if you're painting in pastels and you've got something matted and you haven't framed it yet, it's really easy to get pastel dust on them. And especially down here in the gallery where we do some matted work with no frames and I do some of my pastel work there. So let's try and get this out. The light's not shining on it so much. I had this um, Poppies in Provence pastel that I did and I was really happy with it but it got some of the red dust on the mat and I just really didn't want to, to um, cut another one so I thought well, why not paint the mat so I got out my acrylics and I've painted the mat in the same so as a continuation of this painting and then I put on a couple of layers of varnish so you've got this shiny acrylic frame for the pastel painting and I think it works really well and I think that's going to be a new thing. No more worrying about the pastel dust coming off because if it does it'll just look like it's part of the painting. So that's a bit of a tip for you today. I'm looking forward to May. I've got a whole lot of interesting posts lined up for you on colour mixing so I look forward to those and I'm so excited about leaving in a week's time to go to the US and Canada for six weeks and I'm hoping to post some great photos from there. Lovely to catch up with you. See you during the month. Bye for now.